We're back now with Mitzi LaSalle. She joins us with some information on an upcoming vaping town hall. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So the Louisiana Campaign for Tobacco Free Living, we are um, actually traveling the state with some in-person and virtual vaping town hall meeting. Um, as I hope your audience knows, and maybe they have seen, that it is truly becoming an epidemic amongst our youth. And we are trying to curtail that. We are trying to educate the community on the harmful effects um, of vaping and tobacco use. Uh, but in addition to that, we're also trying to educate um, school leaders teachers, the educators, um, school boards, and all those policy makers that, you know, education is definitely much better than any type of punitive uh, results if, if someone is caught vaping. Absolutely. And so the town hall, where is the town hall being held at? So this time we are in Lake Charles, Louisiana, which is uh, down south. But it is a hybrid event, so uh -huh. it is going to be in person and also virtual. Gotcha. So there is an opportunity for folks right here in central Louisiana to tune in as well um, and get that pertinent information uh, that may be able to, we are hoping, um, change um, one youth's perception of vaping, change a family member's perception of vaping, and of course, uh, those policy makers. So it is in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Uh, it's gonna be Thursday, March the 7th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And again, it is in person, um, but there is also a virtual option as well. So we ask all of those that um, are interested um, we've got a, a graphic up there with some information on how you can uh, tune in virtually via Zoom. And of course, we are hoping that we will be dispelling some of the myths about vaping, answering some direct questions from the community that will actually be there present. But when you um, sign up virtually uh, via Zoom, we also ask if you have some questions um, and we, you know, we will be taking those virtual questions and, as well and trying to get those answered. Absolutely. And so the format of it will be we'll have like basically a panel at the front That's taking correct. and who is that panel consist and made up of so that panel consists of um, educators uh, policy makers youth um, some community leaders um, some mental health professionals um, and also some medical professionals so it's a very wide gamut yeah. of professional individuals and also um, youth you know, and that, that was really an important thing for us, that we wanted to include the youth because we want to hear from them because this is an epidemic and an issue that is really affecting them and their families. So we want to hear from youth. So what we will say um, at this point, that's what the panel is made up of, but we are hoping um, that the audience is going to be made up of some of those same individuals um, virtually and in person. Absolutely. And so you talked about children being in the audience. Why is it important to target them now? You know, um, it is, uh, of course, like I said, it is an epidemic. Um, and we have found here in Louisiana that there um, it's about 34% of Louisiana high schoolers and 39% mm. of middle schoolers that um, have admitted to their first use of tobacco. They tried it out vaping right. um, and are continuing to use it. There have actually been some surveys, and we found that as early as a second grader. Come on has at least tried it and unfortunately it's because of maybe an older family member Absolutely. that left one just kind of laying down um, and we were all kids at a point and, and we're <laughs> very curious and we did the the same thing um, but these uh, these vapes can be very addictive um, and harmful to especially the developing youth and that's the importance is that you know a lot of uh, preteens and teenagers may not realize that their their, their minds are yeah. That. So their their brains are still developing, and so it is really very important that um, that there are not things in the community such as vaping and tobacco use and nicotine use that can damage the natural developing uh, brains and brain cells. And so that's what we want to avoid. So that's why it's so important. Absolutely. And so one more time, we're out of time, but no down the time and the place. All right. So it's going to be Thursday. March 7th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. It is a vaping town hall meeting that's going to take place in person in Lake Charles, Louisiana, or you can join us virtually via Zoom. And there's a graphic right there on the screen that can get you to that website. Absolutely. And you handle that mic drop like a pro. Well, thank you so much. I Absolutely. Try. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this.